How you doing? Okay, so I'm doing uh, my video today. Um, I just got off the horn with uh, uh, Sterling, so his his video should be up in a minute. And now I'm doing my video. <clears throat> and I want to thank you guys, 35,000 subscribers. Holy cow! I was I didn't even realize that that could happen. Okay. I really am really honored that you guys are subscribing. Be sure to watch Sterling's video because he's going to do a new little contest with free read. So um, check that out. And um, I also missed some people uh, this last time that I did my video with my shout outs like I do with Violetta and Marianne. And um there's some really good readers out there and I really enjoy all of you guys and thank you for the work that you do. Uh, and if I missed you, send me a note. But David Johnson, as you know, who I've always liked and he was here at my house and did a video here. He's, uh, I want to give a shout out to him. I believe I already did um, Lena Rodriguez, but in case I didn't, a shout out to her. And there's um, Rosie, you know, my sweet Rosie in New York. She's a doll. And uh, she's funny, too. So I always enjoy her. Truth Warrior, shout out to you. Uh, Lynn Tr at Tarot. Lynn Tarot. She's very sweet, very calming. I like her read. Um, Jin Lynn, who's going to be with me at Sedona. She's uh, really fantastic. Diane's Tarot. She's really good. And um, I wanted to give a shout out for astrology-wise. You know, I'm not an astrologer. But the, um, Eliza is really good, A-L-I-Z-A. She's a friend of, um, I met her through uh, Third Eye Champagne, through Kirsten Langston. And Denise Siegel, <clears throat> I've caught her. She just did a video. Catch that last video. Very interesting, very good. Um, she's very calming because, you know, unlike me with hello, she's very, you know, she's, her voice is, in fact, I have to put her on a different speaker so I can hear her. Anyway, I think she's pretty good too. So just throwing it out there. And if you're starting a channel or if I haven't mentioned your channel, um, let me know. Or if I forgot to mention you. I try to listen to as many as I can. Sometimes it's hard. So um, because I am so busy, but things are getting better. Okay, so y'all sent some some messages. So let's start. Let's let's rock. Let's do this. Bye. What's the October surprise? So okay. So Bar is thinking that Durham, who's doing this stuff, is going to come up with something that they can throw up. And I feel like he throws something and it catapults right back at him. I'm not feeling anything by October. There's going to be even more drama coming out with uh, Donald Trump. But let's check it out. Durham told Brennan he's not under investigation. I almost felt like that was big. I almost felt like that's huge. So let's look at Durham. Mr. Durham. Because remember, someone else did a huge investigation on it. Came back with nothing. And then Barr said, no, I'm going to pick this guy. And I feel when I heard that Durham was going to talk to uh, Brennan, I always felt like Brennan, though, however he talked to him or however he presented it, made total sense. And the way I was feeling, and I'll double check it, like Durham's feeling a little used. So, Mr. Durham, will you come up with something against this Russia thing with Trump? I just heard no, it's clear as day. Come up with something. 
will you come up with some? No. He's trying to, but no. He's just in there. He's in the middle of things. He kind of thought he had something. Absolutely not. And in fact, what's happening is uh, Trump's mad at him and Barr is mad at him. This could be Barr too because they're both the same sign. Um, this guy's almost feeling like, oh, look at this, you guys. They are going to be very disappointed that he's got, it's a nothing burger. They're going to into the past. They're trying to come up with some stuff. Um, someone's celebrating. This is the outcome card, the six of wands. But the three of swords in the house means it's disappointment. Not, and and um, they might take something and run with it. Hold on, let me look at this. Tell me, give identify the identifier cards. What can you tell me? What does the six of wands mean? Will Bar try to play something? Getting the information, trying to spin it. Trying to spin it. That's what they're doing. They're spinning the rock and they're trying to make something out of this. More inform no, they can't do it. More information's coming out, you guys, but it's not against Obama or it's against Trump. More stuff is coming out like Deutsche Bank and all that stuff. Or like I like to call it, douche bank. Okay, so. October surprise is like an October fizzle. I can tell you that. Okay, so I did this. Um, will Jean Carroll's lawsuit go forward? I heard yes. Okay, so give me the 411. What should I tell everybody? Jean Carroll's lawsuit. She's very happy. They try to put it on hold and the courts came back and said no. So I guess it'll go to the Supreme Court now. She's going to get him. He'd be stupid to let this go to trial. I'm almost feeling like he needs to offer her money, but she doesn't want it. She wants to put him up against the wall. She wants to make a, a mockery of him. He's going to have nothing, you guys. When this is all over, he has nothing. What can I tell everybody? Oh, Jean Carroll's lawsuit before. Yes or no? She's been struggling. She's trying to get the truth as best as she can. She's crossed with the uh, Knight of Cups, so an offering. Um... He's trying to stalemate her, but the stalemating is over. And look at this. Money, 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 money. But it's not about the money as much as about him calling her a liar. So I think that's going to be the case, right? She's going to get him for, for lying. Okay, so listen, you guys. It's not all going to happen. Yeah, this isn't the thing that takes him down while he's in this administration. Because I'm not feeling like this is moving forward and loss or, or being before a judge until April of next year. Um, but she's going to win. She's going to hella win. Uh-huh. Hella win. And I'm going to tell you guys something else. I got, I got two flashes I need to tell you about. Number one, I feel um, Trump may leave the country. Because when he loses, and he loses bigly, and in his anger and everything, he's saying, I'm going to get out of here. And I almost feel he's already talked to uh, Putin about this. But I feel him trying to get out of the way. I do feel Ivanka and Jared feel like they can fight it. But I do see Jared going to jail. And I see Ivanka in big trouble, but making some sort of a... Oh... I wonder if she's the one that blabs on her dad. Because I see her making some sort of agreement so she can stay with the children and not have to go to jail. These guys don't even know the tears they're going to shed. It's very sad. And the other flash I had, I wanted to tell you guys, I saw Biden sitting in a room with the intel, with the United States intel, like some bigwigs, all under the table, all hush-hush, telling him what a danger Trump is and about Russia. 
they're going to have stops where the, Russia can't get in there and do, yeah, we're all scared. And of course, the media runs with it. You know how they get. But I see Biden being told almost sooner than later, like right now they're talking to him and he's getting an idea of what's going on. Can you believe Trump saying that Biden is against God? <laughs> oh my God, talk about. He's kettle black, I mean, geez. Okay, so I wanted to tell you guys that because I could see big wigs coming in, talking to Biden and giving him information because by the time Biden gets in there, his whole administration, he's got his administration, he knows the direction and they're working hard. They really are, and he's getting some good people in there. He's kind of a nice guy, so sometimes it's hard for him to shake people that really are kind of getting on his nerves. But I see good people around him that will protect him. Um, okay. Now you know there's a criminal investigation about the NRA, uh, you know, nonprofit getting uh, tax relief. It's not about our Second Amendment right, which they love to say, but it's not. It's about those people in the front that are making money, Pepe Le Pew and the rest of them, making money hand over foot. They've been telling this, they've been screaming this. And by the way, the NRA is out of money. So the NRA can't buy their way out of this. The NRA is out of money, but Someone uh, sent me a question and said, is there some GOPs or people that are profiting? And I feel like we're going to get some numbers that they gave to Trump and to some GOPs. That's pretty outrageous. So this has nothing to do with the Second Amendment rights, but is this the end of the NRA as we know it? With this, the NRA is not going around. It's been around since the 1800s. Tell me about the outcome And I felt that gal that's coming forward, Letitia or whatever her name is, I feel like she's really like has to take care of herself. She's being looked after. Tell me about the NRA. They know they're screwed, you guys. <laughs> They're, they know they're screwed. They're going to lose. They're going to lose. They're going to lose big time. Justice doesn't stand with them. Um, there's sort of two options to go. It's the end of them as we know it. It's at least it's the end of them in New York. They'll they'll pick up the pieces and start up, up again, but I don't know if it's in New York. But they can't transfer out of New York as Letitia James, I think that's her name. But as she told everybody, you can't do that. So, um. Man, she's got them good, you guys. There, I see the judge just slamming down the hammer. So the NRA, as we know it, it doesn't affect your Second Amendment rights, but they will come up with another National Rifle Association under a different name. But there will be someone that, something else. Only it'll have a lot of things they, they make sure that they take care of, like not living fat off everybody's money. They went through all that money. Okay. That's why they were so hooked on that Russian gal. The NRA was getting money from Russia. And so she was like handing them money and acting, you know, you can't have a gun in Russia. So I don't know what the heck. Okay, Trump's executive order. <laughs> surprise, surprise. So he didn't talk about any uh, checks coming out. And I definitely saw checks coming out. So, and I feel like there's a lot of stuff in there that he can't do. The payroll tax he can't touch, so don't worry about your Social Security. Now, remember, when Biden comes in, so many things will be reversed. But also remember that Social Security will be enhanced. I don't know what they're doing. The United States Post Office will, is going to do really well. It's going to be run very well. Um, Trump's executive order. Trump's executive order. He really thinks he's king. He really thinks he's king. 
He's in a very bad mood. He's even mad at Jared. I just saw him being dismissive towards Jared. He's not believing anything anyone's telling him. And he's not well. Okay, so Trump's executive order, what's going to happen? Well, a woman's going to come in, who I think it's Pelosi, and say, you can't do that. They're going to make sure um, everything is just like, they're, they're going to check his money thing that he's saying. Um, so the outcome is the sun and I have the six of wands and I have the ace of wands. So communication, I think the constituents are going to come back on the GOP when it comes to social security, they don't want that happening. So I almost feel like the GOP comes in their constituents and give them a hard time because I actually see them coming up with something. Um, it's, it's really pathetic, you guys. I mean, he said he was going to stop or, you know, you're not going to have, uh, what is it? Uh, they can't, insurance has to cover you precondition, whatever. You know, that's already been on the records. He's, it's amazing how he says, remember in 2018, he said, if you vote for a Democrat, they're going to take away your health insurance. Well, guess who has uh, Obamacare in front of SCOTUS? Trump does. So whatever. I don't want you to worry about this executive order. I do see people getting money. I don't see them touching Social Security. They'll probably keep the no interest in the, in the student loans in there. It's almost like, because you know he wanted that FBI building, but it doesn't matter what he asks for because everything can be reversed. Don't forget that. So remember, we're close. Hello. Hello. We're close. So he's about, he's just about ready to go. Okay, so Postmaster DeJoy. Will he be indicted? Because what he's doing is illegal. And he knows it. He knows he could be in big trouble. But he has a lot of money, I guess. So in a way, he feels like, well, I'll just get my attorneys. But he has no idea. People will be marching with, with you know, flags and get that guy out of here. Because he is going to try some ridiculous stuff. I see them whispering in his ear. I even see Jared whispering in his ear. I don't know if any of you guys saw this, but I saw a couple of pictures where people are putting, the states are putting these big boxes. They're not post, postal boxes, but they're bigger. They look like where you put library books and you can put your ballot in there. And, and you know, then someone comes and gets that with witnesses and make sure it's not being manipulated. I saw that, like, I thought perhaps they were gonna do, they were gonna come up with other ways. He may try, DeJoy may try to start with the post office, but let's see if he gets hit for this. What's going to happen to DeJoy? He's going to say Trump told him to do it. What's going to happen to DeJoy? DeJoy just like um, that rap singer. What's his name? How could I go blank on him? But he, they had him running, and then remember they kicked him out in Chicago because 1900 of the signatures were fake. Well, he just said on some news station that, yeah, Trump was the one that got him to run or talked him into running. That was a nothing burger. Remember, I told you guys that was a nothing burger. Okay, so tell me about DeJoy. Will he pay for this? Ooh. He's going up, you know what, creek without a paddle. Yep. Here's the judge. He will get in trouble for this. And you know what? He, he's trying to create chaos, but he's not able to finish it because look. So his cycle, his fortune is reversed. Um, Might even be a female judge. Oh, hey, you guys. Yeah, he's going to get hit. He's going to get hit hard. But check this out. It'll be when the new administration's in. So I'm almost wondering, is it 
Is it, because it looks like it's a female. Is this a judge female? Or is this like the new AG? Somebody goes in and they do a whole thing like they're going to do with Kavanaugh. Do not forget what I told you. They're going to have a hearing on Kavanaugh. And they're going to tell him, eh, out. He's out of here. Okay, so does Trump have something big coming up in July? I don't know. Somebody, you guys were asking me about Lionsgate or something. Who I thought Lionsgate was a motion picture place. I have no clue what that is. So just give me a day to look it up and figure out what you're asking about. Okay, Trump, some, something big in July. Let's check it out. What, July? You mean August, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> July's already passed. This is something big coming up. Whoever wrote July probably meant to say August. Um, what can I tell everybody about August? And I was telling Sterling, him and I were talking, and I really felt like something was going to happen towards the end of the month. Also, um, uh, I want to give a shout out to my friend Mel you, you, that I had as a guest on the show. He's really good, and he's very nice. We should do a contest with him, too. Y'all gonna get free readings from everywhere. I started a long time ago with this, and then now I notice other psychics are doing it. And I think it's fun and it, it makes people excited and also makes you watch the video. <laughs> August. August. Karma is coming. Something from his past. Karma is coming. It takes his strength away. Angel of light and mercy. Um, people will be very happy. But Trump will be blown out of the water. Okay, so with the tower, tell me what you mean by that. He'll be blown out of the water. It, it, it will shock. It'll be shocking. Okay. Something before the end of this month is shocking. Oh, by the way, my prediction about the airplane came true. That was the one in India. Tell me what you want to tell everybody. Some investigation. Um... Yeah, we know it's against Trump. So they're showing me Trump like, yeah. Something very sneaky, something very underhanded. It might even be, ooh. It might even be something he did with the military or they're going to find out information of something underhanded with Biden. Like he's bringing out fake stuff and maybe even Facebook and Twitter say, uh, dude, you're out of here. Something major is going to happen. It's with communication and it removes his strength. And part of his strength is being able to talk trash about everybody. So, and it'll blow him out of the water. It, it, his, his ability to be evil is lessened, okay? That's what I got. We'll see what happens. The GOP that took money from Russia, Johnson, Lindsey Graham, July 4th of last year. Will they be out at? Absolutely, yes. I don't even have to throw the cards. I think I threw on this before. You guys, you, and, but there'll be some Democrats that are going to get hit too. But I just want you to know, they, it's like everything's stripped. And that's why Biden has to be protected. Because I do see some people trying to work against him. But everything is stripped. And I told you guys that with Pence, I saw their, not Pence, with, um, uh, Biden, I saw them coming in. Intel's talking to him. But Pence, will anything happen to Pence? Someone asked me. Will anything happen to Pence when all this is over with? Yes. I heard yes. Thank you. Will anything happen with Pence? He will, short, he will be in there just temporarily. The tower. He's got the tower, too. Um, he's not going to get in as big trouble as everybody else because he can act stupid. 
He's going to say he went by what Trump told him and he believed what Trump told him. He's hit, but he's not in jail. Sorry. That's what I see. Okay. And I wanted to tell you guys, once again, there's no, I don't care what Russia does. <laughs> Trump is going to lose by a landslide, you guys. And I think um, other psychics have said that, but I'm just recalling uh, um, Denise Siegel. I, I, she, just, she did this video and she even said, based on astrological pattern, she saw it was a landslide. And don't forget, I always bring up um, my other friend, Kirsten Langston, the reason I'm even doing these videos. Now, Ivanka and Jared, Jared is going to jail. I saw that as clear as day. I think that uh, Saudi Arabia, that reporter with the Washington Post, that's coming back to haunt him. Ivanka makes a deal, and I told you guys about that. Theft of the taxpayers. Will we get paid back? Oh, my God. We won't get all of it back. We will get some of it back. But he was living fat, and he was putting money in his coffers and his making uh, us taxpayers pay for all his golf trips. It, it's going to be amazing, the numbers that come out. People are going to be mad at him. Okay, this was a good question. There's two more questions. Census, the early shutdown. And I'll tell you what I felt, and I don't know legally if this can be done. Of course, you know, what's his face wants to stop it because, because you know, for the reason. But I actually see Biden picking it up in January and saying, no, it's not completed. We're going to do an extension. That's what I saw. So he can try to do that, but it's not going to work. Okay, so Mike Pompeo, 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 he's such a liar. So they did, um, Rachel Maddow was talking about that he ordered somebody being fired that even Trump didn't know about, said Trump fired him, but it was him that told Trump to fire him. And in fact, Trump even said P Pompeo told me to fire him. So he's trying to stop an investigation. I want to know what's going to happen to Pompeo because there's a lot more than just that investigation. Pe Pompeo. And listen, as, as we get closer to our day, I'll take, like I did before, I'll take the two people running and I'll let you know. Remember before I did it that way and I had like an 86% rate. Like, I thought for sure Beto would win, but he didn't. But while I was reading, I even said, oh, you guys, he's not going to win. After I thought he was going to win. But my guide said, no, Linda, he's not. I remember I was, well, those of you who followed me that long, since 2018. I think I've been on board since 2017. Mike Pompeo, what's going to happen to you? He's stolen money. Holy shit. Sorry. He has stolen money. He's actually going to get sick. Look at this. There's a couple investigations coming in on him. Oh, it's going to cost him. They're coming in hard and fast. Money. It's about money. Pompeo's actually going to be sick. I never saw that before. His strength is gone in his house. Ace of Cups. So his family, his family will be involved too. And he's the hangman. So... It's all money related, you guys. Ooh, he's not looking good. His tenure is over. Like he can't even be the new Fox News love person once he's out of office. I almost see even Fox News is going to get hard because so much is going to come out about how all these people ripped us off. It's going to be ugly, you guys. Of course, we'll be in the front row. We'll be over eating our popcorn. That's why I won't be. I thought for sure I was going to stop this as soon as Trump was out. But no, we got we to gotta watch all the deets. We got to watch karma. We can't wish for it, though. Got to be careful. You hurt your own self when you do that. Love you guys. Um, be talking to you later. Ciao.